everyone in this video i want to talk about tables which were just introduced in the latest version 3.8.1 which was just published so uh, first of all i want to show you how you can create tables what are the limitations at the moment how they look like in your plain notes and a couple of examples specifically for no plan and a couple of more generic examples so let's get right into it how can you create tables so on um, mac you can hover over an empty line then you see the plus button and the drag button and you can click on the plus button and see a couple of items and one is tables and then you get a, by default a three by three table and there's a second method which is a bit faster if you don't want to use the mouse uh, you type just slash and then tables and you get tables in the um, as a suggestion in the autocomplete and then you hit enter and get the table automatically before i show you more uh, let's go to iphone and how it looks there so this is my iphone here and you tap somewhere so you get the virtual keyboard up and it works the same on ipad by the way and then you get the toolbar above the keyboard on ipad you might have a different kind of toolbar but you would have the same buttons on the right so you tap on the menu button on the right and then at the top on insert and one item is table you click on table and you get again this table um, you can close the keyboard and if you want to edit the rows and columns you have to tap into one of the cells and then you see this option button top right of the cell and in this option button you can insert rows columns delete rows and columns or the read delete the full table so this is how iphone looks like and it looks the context menu is the same on mac OS. so you hover but you don't need to click into the cell you can just hover over it and then you can click on the menu item or on the uh, option button and then you get the context menu with the same options you can insert a new row at the bottom or you insert a new column or you delete a specific column and row with the other two options and there are a couple of uh, limitations at the moment because uh, we just introduced the tables but we will improve them in later iterations you cannot format the text in the tables so just the first uh, row is bold because these are the headings uh, or the heading row and the others are normal cells normal text and you cannot change it at the moment you cannot insert links and so on but we will add this in future versions so it might be already available when you watch this video and it works only on big Sur and up or ios 13 and newer and um, so how are cells uh, say uh, how are tables saved because this is uh, in the background this is saved as a plain text file so let me open up this plain text file and then with you can open up your notes then with text edit for example or with any other text-based app which or any markdown app because this table is supported across uh, markdown apps it's the basic uh, vertical lines and dashes which is a kind of a standard in the markdown world so this is this is these are the basics about uh, tables and of course you can navigate through the cells with the of the arrow buttons and in the last row if you hit enter you create a new row so let me delete this table and let's go to the examples <clears throat> so one of the examples are habit trackers because you can add them to your weekly notes and this fits very well into no plan so here for example i have the week nine opened and then you can track your habits on a weekly basis so every day you can open up your weekly note for example as uh, maybe in the evening after you completed the day or at the next in the next day in the morning for the previous day and then can go into the uh, you can basically structure it in two ways you have the days horizontally but you got to scroll a little bit or and the habits vertically or what i like more is if you have the days vertically and the habits horizontally then you don't need to scroll in this case if you have a couple of more habits of course you need to scroll uh, if it's if the width exceeds the editor and you don't you can use emojis you can uh, for example uh, paste these two 
above the table so it's easy to copy and paste them into the cells or you basically type uh, the details of your habit into the cells like for example in reading read 10 pages or two hours or slept at 10 30 and watched because watched too much tiktok or something and then you can uh, re at the end of the week uh, you can review the last week and see what you need to improve and uh, let's go to the next example which also uses the periodic notes is about goal tracking so First of all, you need to uh, you can set yourself goals on a monthly, quarterly, or yearly basis. First of all, you need to enable those periodic notes. You can open the preferences, command, comma, for example. And then you go to calendars, and under calendars, there's show calendar notes. By default, you will see weekly, and you can enable monthly, quarterly, and yearly as you wish. And let's uh, jump into one of the goal tracking examples so for example for your month for March you can set your goals and you can use it uh, loosely with OKRs or after the OKR uh, method so let's see uh, goal tracking for example for work this is one example I pulled from GPT so you can have uh, objectives or objective objectives key results target and progress and then I use these colors just to uh, symbolize if I'm on track, at risk, or off track. For example, you set one uh, objective like increase monthly recurring revenue, and one of the uh, key results is increase it by 20% and reduce the churn rate. And you can have multiple key results for one objective. This is th that's why you have two here, and this is empty, this cell. And then you set the target in the next one, and you can track your progress in the last column and you can do this one similar to the monthly uh, to the weekly habit tracking but this one I would probably do on a monthly basis so you can add this table copy and paste it for example you set it once for a year <clears throat> and then you could uh, copy and paste it to every month and then track at the end of the month for example how you performed and then I have a second example for OKRs um, <clears throat> for example, you can set one objective and this, and then just the key results in the table. So all the key results refer to this one objective, increase the revenue by 50%. And for example, <clears throat> one key result could be <clears throat> implement one growth initiative a month, and then the target would be 12 initiatives. So we have uh, yeah, uh, January and February just ended. So uh, two initiatives are implemented, so we are on track. That's why the green color. And you can do a bit more detailed check-ins in this case to describe your progress. So what did you do? Like worked on the paywall, implemented an A-B testing, <clears throat> or uh, ship one popular feature request a month. So means 12 features. Progress is green, shipped two features already, shipped dragging and checklists, and also now tables. And decreased churn is, for example, uh, at risk. This is not on track. This is something I need to look into as 7.6% and not 5. So churn is high because the people from the old plans are canceling, for example. So this is how you can do like check-ins, see how the progress is. And the nice thing is about this, at the end of the year, you can go th uh, through every month and then review your performance and how you worked towards the goal and then adjust it adjust your goals for the next month uh, next year uh, according to this and of course you can also have personal goals like improve physical health so the key result would be like run 5k without stopping do strength training twice a week and the target would be of course two times a week um, to the gym uh, run 5k and the progress ran 6k so all is good uh, just going 1.5 times a week on average to the uh, gym so this is just this is at risk and some other examples like reading books and so on so this works also well probably on a monthly and quarterly basis uh, where you can track your goals so these are the most interesting two examples because they use periodic notes and let's go to the other examples, which are a bit simpler. For example, you can have a portfolio tracker. 
general comparisons of things like stocks and ETFs. So here we got one comparison. So you have the ETF here, dividend yield, the, the fees, the strategy, your comments, and so on. And this can become a bit bigger everything. So you got to scroll horizontally and a simple portfolio tracker or just tracking your uh, financial accounts like broker account one, two, business account and so on, the value and then total at the bottom. So you have everything in one note. Uh, let's go to estimating projects. Another example. So you have the task. You have a description of the task, how many hours you estimate it, and then the actual hours which you can track. This is, this is maybe, again, something uh, which you can do on a monthly basis. So you estimate it once, and then, or at the end of, of the project, you can see how many hours you actually spent. Another example would be Kanban board. So you can set up a Kanban board uh, with the first column planned, then doing, then done. And, for example, improve the paywall, uh, review uh, at review prompts to iOS, folding tasks, doing video about tables at the moment, done tables. And then you can, uh, I recommend maybe cut and paste in this case, um, and track things uh, like your tasks on a Kanban board this way. Maybe also in a periodic note, because uh, you track already your tasks on a daily basis in the daily notes or in a project note. Okay, thanks for watching. These are the basic examples and how you can create tables. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you have questions, you can comment or reach out directly. Thanks so much and see you again.